Acho que foi esse turno, né? Thank you very much. Back-to-back, uh, -back, a left hook knockout. Uh, is it safe to say that's your favorite technique in the octagon? You take a zone carrying to the turn knockout. He's in Chinese or Tet to the team of the octagon. The minute or Tet, the Ravium Nassim. Yes, he, 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 well, he did it also last time, and his, uh, it's his happy technique. <laughs> is that punch? Specifically in this fight, something you knew you could take advantage of against Kevin, or is that just a, a technique you saw in the moment? Previously, he had uh, prepared, but this time he was patient and he was looking at him and just uh, had the moment, the right moment. And then I think I saw your coach, Brandon Gibson. Uh, he got COVID yesterday. He couldn't be in your corner. Did that? And obviously you won, but did that? Was that weighing on your mind uh, entering this fight? Brandon was in your corner, but since he got COVID, but that that I just didn't go. So what was the question? Was he thinking about that uh, was while he was walking to the octagon? Ah, the other thing that the octagon was hard. The third leg on both sides. But to go, I go. Coach Kirik Jackson was here. So, yeah, uh, actually, also Greg Jackson also had to come, but because of the plane was delayed, uh, he couldn't come. So, we had only uh, like uh, one coach behind me, behind him, and um, uh, it was okay. He wasn't thinking, like he wasn't nervous about it because he had all his preparations before. I don't think you had any fights without fans, but today specifically, the fans seem much more energized now that they are back and after your performance. So, what did you make of the fans finally being able to watch fights again? Uh, he was with the last one, last fight. He was with the fans. Uh, yeah. Right, but is the, could you tell if there's a difference between like now that they are back, the fans seem much more energized and rowdy? Uh -huh. Uh, well, of course, it is much better to be with the fans, and he gets a lot of energy from fans, from the crowd. It, it makes him really, like, um, ready. Then finally, uh, when would you like to return? And is there a specific fighter you would like to fight next when you do return? Uh, he, he wants to fight as soon as possible again. And he wants to fight uh, Jose Aldo and Shaw Mali, or whatever who is the top in his Bantan weight. Why specifically Jose Aldo and Sean O'Malley? Yeah, that's out there. Jose Aldo is for the year. He did a minute. Our wrestling, my children do wrestling. He did a lot of things. He did a lot of things. Because Jose Aldo is his one of his favorite fighter, and uh, he was champion before and he used to watch his fights and he is actually inspired by him so he wants to face him then how over here on your left uh, you know a lot of uh, fighters said oh i got used to fighting without the fans and fighters talking about oh my teammates told me oh this is what it's going to be like without fans did you ever want to experience the empty arena or were you okay that You've never had to deal with no fans for your fights. Chamb dota kaso timer chit hiljes no yamar chim utuk chuko timte hiljes ni besi mi avesi ni besi chimo te chiun utuk chuko timte utz chaga ko chis utz meru no chitir tlari ujot chie. Bi om utuk chuko timte taos kaos ni tiket teruit ata utz no asmas ni ko kaui te sotla diap chatago ati ko utz chatago ayak timer chita chul tim san sago utuk chuko timte yat chat san jahan tsukot. Uh, so in uh, October last year, he had to f he, he had he had to have a fight 
against the um, matrix. Um, and that fight was without uh, fans. Uh, but uh, because of the restrictions of the corona and everything, he couldn't make the international flight. Uh, so he doesn't know how it is. But obviously, he thinks it's, it's not good. It's much better with cr crowd. You've had quite the professional career up to this point already. What are you most proud of in how you've grown as a mixed martial artist? Uh, so, uh, of course, MMA is the mix of everything. Uh, he, he, MMA is the top, so he, he loves it. Also, because he's the first Mongolian fighter in UFC, he is very proud and very happy to be one. Were you aware that earlier in the night there was a fighter with the nickname the Mongolian murderer? Uh, Mongols, uh, the murderer with the nickname the Temurchun Besan. Uh, what about him? Just, uh, was he aware that there was a fighter on the yeah, card yeah, with that yes. nickname? Did he know about it personally? Yeah, he knows him personally. They had together a fight in China before. Yeah. Did you win that one? Did what? Uh, no, no, they didn't do it against oh, them. Did. Just the you know, same... Uh, same card, yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry.